Drenched in controversy, the legacy of O.J. Simpson continues to stir up a storm, even after his passing. The former football icon, whose life was as enigmatic as it was contentious, left behind a puzzle that many are now trying to piece together, his estate. Simpson's final will filed in Clark County, Nevada, appointed his attorney, Malcolm Laverne, as the personal representative and executor. His son, Justin Simpson, was to be the successor. The will, signed in January of 2024, placed his property in the Orenthal Simpson Revocable Living Trust. However, the storm clouds had already begun to gather. Rumblings of a feud echo through the halls of justice as the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman, two lives tragically cut short in a case that shocked the nation, seek to claim the $33.5 million civil judgment from a 1997 case against O.J. Simpson. Laverne, standing as the executor of Simpson's estate, has expressed his intent to fight any payout to the Goldman family, hoping they receive nothing from the estate. Yet the Goldman family remains steadfast, seeking accountability and justice, even after Simpson's death. The pursuit of this civil judgment, still unpaid, could see the Goldman and Brown families receive a portion of his assets through the probate process. Their quest for justice, however, is likely to be met with resistance as Simpson's estate was structured to limit beneficiaries' ability to challenge the will. Despite the controversies that marred his life and legacy, Simpson remains a figure of intrigue. His life, filled with triumphs on the football field and turmoil off it, was nothing short of dramatic. His death, however, has only deepened the mystery surrounding him. As we delve into the intricate details, we unravel the enigma that is O.J. Simpson's life and his estate. The saga continues, the storm rages on, and the world watches, waiting to see how this final chapter of O.J. Simpson's life will unfold. Estate planning can be a difficult task, but in O.J. Simpson's case, it's a little more complicated to say the least. It is imperative to make a commitment, save money, and seek the counsel of an attorney or lawyer of your choosing to complete your estate plan. In addition, your backup plan APP can be a phenomenal resource for navigating unforeseen circumstances. We never know what tomorrow will bring, and this app is a lifeline for seniors, singles, and families alike. But we're not stopping there. We invite you to explore this essential topic further through our free webinars hosted in our Facebook group. Join us and secure the keys to your financial future. Don't wait for a crisis. Empower yourself now. Click the link below to join the conversation. Before the fame and controversy, O.J. Simpson was just a young boy with a dream. Born on July 9, 1947 in San Francisco, California, Orenthal James Simpson was one of four children. His parents split when he was just a child and his mother Eunice raised the children alone. Life was not easy for young O.J. Simpson. Growing up in the housing projects of Potrero Hill, he faced the harsh realities of poverty. Yet even amidst the struggles, a dream was born. A dream of football stardom. During his high school years, he began to show promise as a football player. His talents were evident and his passion for the game was undeniable. It was at City College of San Francisco where he first started to make his mark. His performances were so impressive that he was awarded a scholarship to the University of Southern California, a renowned college football powerhouse. At USC, O.J. Simpson's football career truly began. He became a star running back, catching the attention of the nation with his skills and tenacity. It was here that he won the Heisman Trophy, an accolade that marked him as the best college football player in the country. His prowess on the field was undeniable and his future looked bright. In 1969, his dreams became reality when he was drafted by the Buffalo Bills. His professional football career was about to take off and the world was watching. From humble beginnings, O.J. Simpson's journey to stardom was nothing short of extraordinary. But as we know, his story is just beginning. The fame, the glory, the controversy, they were all yet to come. Before the storm, there was a time when O.J. Simpson was revered for his prowess on the football field. Let's rewind to the early 60s, when a young man named Orenthal James Simpson, known to us as O.J., began his journey to football stardom. Born and raised in San Francisco, California, O.J. Simpson's tale is one of exceptional talent, determination, and success, marred by controversy. As a running back for the University of Southern California, O.J. Simpson was a force to be reckoned with. In 1968, he won the Heisman Trophy, an award given annually to the most outstanding player in college football, a testament to his talent and dedication. His professional career began in 1969 when he was first drafted by the Buffalo Bills. 
There, Simpson truly made his mark on the sport. Known for his speed, agility, and power, he was a formidable opponent on the football field. In 1973, he became the first player in NFL history to rush for over 2,000 yards in a single season, a feat that has only been achieved by a select few since. His prowess on the gridiron earned him five trips to the Pro Bowl, and he was named NFL Player of the Year in 1973. Over his 11-year professional career, Simpson amassed 11,236 rushing yards, making him one of the greatest running backs in NFL history. His contributions to the sport were recognized in 1985 when he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But O.J. Simpson's life was not just about football. Off the field, he was a charismatic figure, a celebrity, transitioning into acting and broadcasting after his retirement. His charm and likability made him a popular figure adored by many. However, Simpson's life was about to take a drastic turn. His football career, his accolades, his popularity, all would soon be overshadowed by a life filled with controversy. The gridiron glory days of O.J. Simpson, however, were soon to be overshadowed by a life filled with controversy. From the gridiron to the courtroom, O.J. Simpson found himself in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. In the summer of 1994, O.J. Simpson was charged with the double murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman. The evidence against him was damning, a bloody glove, a trail of blood from the crime scene to his home, and his suspicious behavior in the days following the murders. However, Simpson, backed by a high-profile legal team, maintained his innocence. His defense team, led by Johnny Cochran and Robert Shapiro, crafted a narrative of racial bias and police misconduct. They raised doubts about the LAPD's handling of evidence and questioned the credibility of the lead detective, Mark Furman. On the other side, the prosecution, led by Marsha Clark and Christopher Darden, presented a case based on strong physical evidence and a history of domestic violence. The trial, broadcast live on television, was a spectacle that gripped the nation. For nearly nine months, America was captivated by the courtroom drama. Then, on October 3, 1995, the jury delivered a verdict that stunned the nation. Not guilty. The acquittal of O.J. Simpson was met with a mix of shock, relief, and outrage. It exposed deep racial divides in America and ignited debates about the justice system that continue to this day. The trial of O.J. Simpson, dubbed the trial of the century, was a watershed moment in American legal history. It was a spectacle that captivated the nation, a case that continues to be dissected and debated even today. A hero on the field, O.J. Simpson soon found himself on the wrong side of the law. This is a narrative that shook the nation and continues to be a topic of heated debate even today. Simpson's life took a dramatic turn in 1994 when he was charged with the brutal murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ronald Goldman. The ensuing criminal trial was nothing short of a media circus broadcast live across the nation and dissecting every detail of the evidence. Despite the damning nature of the evidence, Simpson was acquitted of the criminal charges, a verdict that stirred up a storm of controversy. However, the legal battles were far from over for Simpson. In 1997, a civil court held him liable for the wrongful deaths of Brown and Goldman, saddling him with a whopping $33.5 million in damages. This civil judgment remains unpaid to this day, a testament to the ongoing controversy surrounding Simpson's case. Years later, in 2007, Simpson found himself in legal hot water yet again. This time, he was charged with a series of felonies, including armed robbery and kidnapping. The charges stemmed from an incident in Las Vegas where Simpson and several accomplices were accused of stealing sports memorabilia at gunpoint. In 2008, Simpson was found guilty on all counts and sentenced to 33 years in prison with the possibility of parole after nine years. Simpson's jail time was a stark contrast to his glory days on the football field. His legal troubles cast a long and unflattering shadow over his past achievements, turning him into a figure of controversy. His trials were a media spectacle, and his acquittal in the murder case remains one of the most contentious verdicts in American legal history. Despite his criminal past and the controversy surrounding him, Simpson managed to maintain a loyal following. His fans stood by him, undeterred by his legal troubles, and the negative publicity. They continued to celebrate his football achievements, choosing to remember him as the charismatic sports icon he once was. The once celebrated football star was now a symbol of controversy. 
his life behind bars a far cry from his days on the field. O.J. Simpson's journey from sports hero to convicted felon is a tale of fame, fortune, and fall from grace. It's a story that continues to captivate and divide public opinion, even years after his passing. From the football field to a prison cell, O.J. Simpson's life took a dramatic turn. After being found guilty of armed robbery and kidnapping in 2008, Simpson was sentenced to 33 years in prison, with the possibility of parole after nine years. He was assigned inmate number 1027820 and housed in the Lovelock Correctional Center, a medium security prison in Nevada. Life behind bars was a stark contrast to the fame and glory he had enjoyed on the football field. His days were structured, regimented, and devoid of the luxuries he had once taken for granted. Simpson spent his days working in the prison gym, cleaning equipment, and supervising other inmates during their workout sessions. Over the years, he made several attempts to appeal his sentence but was unsuccessful. In 2013, he was granted a small victory when a judge agreed to resentence him on some of the charges, reducing his minimum term to nine years. This meant that Simpson was eligible for parole in 2017. During his parole hearing, Simpson expressed remorse for his actions and vowed to live a better life if released. The parole board granted his request, and in October 2017, after serving nine years of his sentence, Simpson was released from prison. His time behind bars had a profound impact on his public image. Once a celebrated football star, Simpson was now known more for his criminal activities than his sporting achievements. His personal life also took a hit. His children had to grow up in the shadow of their father's criminal past, and his financial resources were significantly depleted due to legal fees and the unpaid civil judgment. Despite the hardships, Simpson managed to maintain a positive attitude. He claimed to have used his time in prison to reflect on his life and make positive changes. O.J. Simpson's time behind bars marked a dark chapter in his life. It was a time of reflection, remorse, and redemption. A time when the fallen football star had to confront the reality of his actions and their consequences. In the end, even heroes fall. O.J. Simpson's life came to an end, but the controversy lived on. Orenthal James Simpson, better known as O.J. Simpson, was an enigma until his final days. A football legend, a convicted criminal, and a man whose life was enshrined in controversy, he battled his last opponent off the field, cancer. The final whistle blew for Simpson, not on the gridiron under the bright lights, but in the quiet confines of hospice care. His twilight hours were spent in the company of his loved ones, away from the public eye. Simpson, a man who once defied odds on the football field, took on a formidable enemy in cancer. He fought, as he had done all his life, but this was a game that even the juice couldn't win. His passing was met with a mixed reaction, reflecting the tumultuous journey of his life. Some remembered him as a football icon, the first NFL player to rush for more than 2,000 yards in a single season. Others recalled the darker chapters of his life, his criminal charges, and the infamous trial that rocked the nation. Simpson's final will and testament, signed on 25th January 2024, was filed in Clark County, Nevada. His attorney, Malcolm Laverne, was named as the personal representative and executor with his son, Justin Simpson, as the successor personal representative. His property was placed in the Orenthal Simpson Revocable Living Trust. In death, as in life, Simpson remained a figure of contention. The shadow of a $33.5 million civil judgment from a 1997 case involving the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman loomed large over his estate. The judgment, referred to as creditor's claims by Laverne, has been a contentious issue. Despite Simpson's passing, the debt remains unpaid and the Goldman and Brown families may yet receive a portion of his assets through the probate process. Laverne expressed his intent to fight any payout to the Goldman family, stating his hope that they receive nothing from the estate. This has set the stage for a legal battle that promises to be as contentious as any chapter in Simpson's life. With his passing, O.J. Simpson left behind a legacy mired in controversy, but the saga didn't end there. His death marked the end of an era, but his life continues to fuel debates, discussions, and legal battles. A hero to some, a villain to others, O.J. Simpson's story is a complex tapestry of triumph, downfall, and controversy. His passing marked the end of his journey, but the O.J. Simpson saga lives on. After the criminal trial, the civil trial brought new challenges for O.J. Simpson. This chapter of his life was marked by more legal battles, public scrutiny, and a verdict that would forever change his legacy. 
In February 1997, Simpson faced a civil trial for the wrongful deaths of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman. The civil trial, unlike the criminal trial, required a lower standard of proof, simply a preponderance of the evidence, rather than proof beyond a reasonable doubt. The families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman alleged that Simpson was responsible for their loved one's deaths. They sought justice, not in the form of criminal punishment, but through financial compensation for their immeasurable loss. The verdict of the civil trial was a stark contrast to the criminal trial. In a unanimous decision, the jury found Simpson liable for the wrongful deaths. He was ordered to pay $33.5 million in damages to the Goldman and Brown families, a sum that dwarfed his net worth. The civil trial verdict was a blow to Simpson's reputation. It undermined his criminal trial acquittal and cast a shadow over his legacy. The aftermath of the trial was a series of financial and legal struggles for Simpson. His assets were seized, his home was auctioned off, and he was forced to declare bankruptcy. Despite the acquittal in the criminal trial, the civil trial verdict painted a different picture of O.J. Simpson, a picture of a man liable for the deaths of two people, a man burdened by a debt he could never repay. The civil trial added another layer of complexity to the O.J. Simpson saga. It brought new challenges and a verdict that forever changed his life and legacy. The trial may have ended, but the consequences lived on, shaping the narrative of O.J. Simpson's life and creating a ripple effect that would impact his family even after his death. In the end, the civil trial was a defining chapter in the O.J. Simpson story, a chapter that would not be forgotten. Death often brings closure, but for the Simpson family, it only opened up another battlefield. O.J. Simpson, a name that's synonymous with both football fame and scandalous infamy, left more than just a legacy behind. His demise ignited a war within the family, turning the settling of his estate into a contentious ordeal. His last will and testament, signed on the 25th of January, 2024, designated his property to the Orenthal Simpson Revocable Living Trust. The man chosen to navigate this stormy sea was Malcolm Laverne, Simpson's attorney, appointed as the personal representative and executor of the estate. Simpson's son, Justin Simpson, was named as the successor personal representative, ready to step in if the need arises. But the storm doesn't end there. A looming cloud, in the form of a $33.5 million civil judgment from a 1997 case, hangs over the estate. This case, involving the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman, has been referred to as creditors' claims by Laverne. In the midst of this, we see the Goldman family still seeking accountability for the tragic loss of their son, Ron. They have their eyes firmly set on that $33.5 million judgment, a financial reckoning for a life lost. Yet, Laverne has expressed a fierce intent to fight any payout to the Goldman family. His hope? That they receive nothing from the estate. But the Goldman family isn't backing down. Their pursuit of accountability is relentless hoping to receive a portion of Simpson's assets through the probate process. The structure of Simpson's estate, however, limits the beneficiary's ability to challenge the will, adding another layer of complexity to this already convoluted situation. In the midst of this turmoil, Laverne has shown a sliver of willingness to engage in a calm and dispassionate resolution with the Goldmans, but only after the estate's value is determined, a small beacon of hope in an otherwise tumultuous situation this family feud over Simpson's estate highlights the ongoing effects of his controversial life, even after his death. It's a war of rights, of claims, and of seeking justice, one that threatens to overshadow the memory of the man himself. As the Simpson family fights for their claim, the future of O.J. Simpson's estate hangs in the balance. After serving his time, O.J. Simpson attempted to rebuild his life. O.J. Simpson, a man who once basked in the limelight of his football career, found himself stepping into a world drastically different from the one he left. His release from prison in 2017 marked the end of a nine-year sentence for armed robbery and kidnapping. Simpson, once an icon of American sports, now bore the weight of his criminal past as he attempted to reintegrate into society. His post-prison life was far from easy, with the public eye constantly scrutinizing his every move. Simpson made several public appearances and statements following his release, each one triggering a flurry of media attention and public debate. In one such instance, he took to Twitter to deny rumors of his involvement in the infamous Kardashian family drama. But his attempts to clear his name only served to stir the pot further, 
drawing both support from loyal fans and criticism from detractors. Simultaneously, Simpson was embroiled in ongoing legal battles. Even as he tried to carve out a semblance of normality, the shadow of his past loomed large. The public's reaction to his post-prison life was mixed, to say the least. While some expressed sympathy for the fallen star, others held firm to the belief that he was a man who had escaped the full force of justice. O.J. Simpson's post-prison life was marked by attempts at redemption and ongoing controversy. Despite his efforts to rebuild his life, the specter of his past refused to fade away. His story serves as a stark reminder of the long-lasting impacts of one's actions, a tale of a life forever altered by a series of fateful decisions. As we delve deeper into the saga of O.J. Simpson and his estate, it's clear that the ripple effects of his actions continue to be felt, even beyond the grave. The feud over O.J. Simpson's estate is far from over, and the potential outcomes are shrouded in uncertainty. As we delve deeper into this complex tale, we find ourselves in a labyrinth of legalities, potential scenarios, and a list of potential beneficiaries that's as long as a football field. The saga of O.J. Simpson's estate is indeed a testament to the intricacies of family dynamics, legacy, and the law. Now let's talk about the potential outcomes of this ongoing estate feud. On one hand, we have the Goldman family, still seeking reparation for a judgment awarded in a wrongful death lawsuit against Simpson. Despite Simpson's passing, this civil judgment remains unpaid, and the Goldman and Brown families may yet receive a portion of his assets through the probate process. On the other hand, we have Malcolm Laverne, Simpson's attorney and the executor of his estate, who has expressed intent to block this payout. He's made it clear that he plans to fight tooth and nail to keep the Goldman family from receiving any money from the estate. But what about Simpson's own family? His son, Justin Simpson, has been named as the successor personal representative. What this means essentially is that once all debts and taxes have been paid, Justin could potentially inherit whatever remains of the estate. However, with the looming legal battle, it's unclear how much of the estate will be left, if any. The legal implications of this feud are as complex as they are intriguing. Simpson's estate has been structured to limit beneficiaries' ability to challenge the will, a move that further complicates the situation. Meanwhile, the Goldman family continues their pursuit of accountability, a pursuit that could potentially lead to a substantial payout from the estate. As the executor of the estate, Laverne holds a considerable amount of power over the proceedings. His willingness to engage in a calm and dispassionate resolution with the Goldmans, however, suggests that there may be room for negotiation and compromise. Yet with emotions running high and stakes even higher, it's uncertain whether a peaceful resolution is possible. And then, of course, there is the question of the legacy that Simpson leaves behind. His life was a mix of extraordinary success and immense controversy and his death has done little to simplify matters. The feud over his estate serves as a stark reminder of the complex, often messy realities that come with fame and fortune. As the saga of O.J. Simpson's estate unfolds, only time will tell who will emerge victorious in this family feud. O.J. Simpson's life was a roller coaster ride of fame, controversy, and family feuds. From the heights of his illustrious football career to the depths of his jail time, the legacy of this iconic figure continues to reverberate. He was a titan on the football field, a force to be reckoned with that left an indelible mark on the sport. But his life off the field was marred by controversy, most notably his jail time following the high-profile trial for the murders of his ex-wife and her friend. Simpson's passing in early 2024 was a poignant moment, marking the end of an era. However, it also signaled the beginning of a new and complex chapter in the Simpson saga, the battle over his estate. The executor of his estate, Malcolm Laverne, is gearing up for a fight to block the Goldman family, among others, from receiving any money from the estate. The Goldmans were awarded a multi-million dollar judgment in a wrongful death lawsuit against Simpson, a judgment that remains unpaid despite Simpson's death. The battle lines are drawn, and the feud over this estate promises to be as contentious as Simpson's life itself. Yet amid the legal wrangling and family turmoil, the legacy of O.J. Simpson continues to be a topic of intense debate. His life was a complex tapestry of incredible sporting achievement, personal tragedy, and legal controversy. And now, even in death, the saga continues. Stay tuned as we continue to follow the unfolding saga of O.J. Simpson's estate. Remember to like, 
share, and follow for more captivating stories of celebrity family estate feuds. Having witnessed the tumultuous saga of O.J. Simpson's life and the ongoing battle over his estate, it's clear that estate planning is a crucial aspect of life that often gets overlooked. But what exactly does it entail? Estate planning is the process of arranging who will receive your assets when you die. It involves numerous legal entities like wills, trusts, powers of attorney, and more. It's complex, it's multifaceted, and it's absolutely essential. This is where your backup plan app comes in. This app is designed to help you navigate the tricky waters of estate planning. It's your personal guide, your lifeline, helping you organize your life in preparation for any unforeseen circumstances. It's not just for seniors or singles, but for everyone, because life is unpredictable. But that's not all. We're also offering free webinars on our Facebook group where we delve deeper into the intricacies of estate planning. These webinars are a treasure trove of information designed to empower you in securing your financial future. Don't wait for a crisis to strike, take control of your life now. Click the link below to join our Facebook group and sign up for the free webinars. Because remember, in the game of life, it's always better to be prepared. I'm gone.